Good Friday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. Got to get the remote control here. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik, just past the top of the hour. And as of right now, looking at some fairly quiet conditions into the Mid-South, we are going to be seeing the possibility of getting some more rainfall into the weekend. Just what you wanted to hear. If you have any outdoor plans, we'll talk more about that coming up here with your complete forecast in just a little bit. Welcome to the show. If you've never been here before, again, this is our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Good opportunity for you to see what's going on with the forecast for here in the Mid-South area. If you're from points beyond, looking back toward Memphis in the Mid-South, seeing what the weather's like, we'll give you an idea as to what we're seeing for this morning. We'll also give you the forecast coming up here in just a little bit. And of course, we'll take a look at most of the rest of the forecast. If you can't stick around for that, it's in the blue bar scrolling past at the bottom of your screen. It's here at the bottom left-hand corner of your screen, or you can pick up everything at wreg.com slash weather and tons more information available there. And of course, we'll have more weather coming up throughout the rest of the morning on News Channel 3, live at 9, and on News Channel 3 at noon as well. Drop your locations, and if you have any weather reports, temperature, wind speed, wind direction, rain gauge from the last few days, which doesn't amount to much, please make certain you drop those into the comments section. We'd love to know where our viewers are checking in from, so please give us a weather report if you're able to do so there as well. Currently in the Mid-South, again, things are decently quiet and dry, but we will continue to see some chances for rainfall a little bit later on today later again into around say sunset and dinner time not really all that much going on immediately but if you're not going to be back home again until say after sunset you may want to go ahead and take the umbrella along with you just to be on the safe side because we will be seeing those chances of rain around dinner time mainly north of I-40 and that's going to be the main threat area for just plain rain maybe some rumbles of thunder overnight we'll talk more about that coming up here again in just a little bit thanks for checking in see Dustin Brumfield from Smithville, Mississippi, 33 degrees and sunny. Thank you very much. Rita Allen checking in from uh, someplace. Let's hear clouds here and cool. Thank you very much for that one. And everybody else for checking in for uh, early this morning online. Here's what it looks like across portions of the area back to the east of us. Boston Harbor. A lot of snow on the roof and some blue skies finally after the second of two nor'easters moved on through the area and doing a very good job of making their way on up and into the northern Atlantic. We're not going to be seeing again too much in the way of major amounts of problems from anything else heading in that direction, which is definitely good news. Leftover snow and ice, the Mount Washington Observatory, again in New Hampshire, from the area around the Mount Washington Observatory. This is home right here of some of the worst weather in the country. Winds of 200 miles per hour plus, freezing fog, tons of snow, amazing amounts of huge amounts of rain and wind. It's really an incredible place to study the weather. And again, a great view from the observatory earlier today. Much of what you're seeing here is snow that's being blown around by the winds. There's no new snowfall coming down. Actually, there's clear skies a few thousand feet up, but you just can't see anything immediately for right now. So again, this is what we're seeing for the time being back to the east as that latest nor'easter clears on out. A little bit better in the Mid-South area for this morning. Sunshine from the Grove in Ole Miss. We're looking at, again, a lot of sunshine out there. No major problems being seen again for anything the way of travel around North Mississippi. Another college cam from Rhodes College in Memphis. Things are, again, very much on the quiet side for right now. So looking again at some decently quiet conditions out there for the time being. Sunny and cool. Park in Arkansas, Sam Gillum, thanks a lot for checking in. Beautiful day in Eads, Jeff Livingston, thank you very much for that. Uh, Vernita Marshall, Love and Brags on WREG News Channel 3. So we're continuing again to see some decently quiet conditions into parts of the Mid-South for this morning. City Hall cam from around Germantown showing some fairly quiet numbers and also traffic starting to lighten up by just a little bit into and around Poplar Pike and Germantown. And temperatures remain a bit on the brisk side, lower to mid-40s out there. Winds out of the west-southwest at about 9 miles an hour, giving us a bit of a wind chill for early this morning, but not doing too bad. <laughs> Lastly, checking in on Poplar and Walnut Grove traffic on the south and the westbound lanes. Seeing, again, some pretty good slowdowns thanks to the construction going on there. So if you have any plans for travel, north and east looks pretty good. Southbound, again, looks a little bit crowded at this time. Hopefully that gets alleviated by just a little bit out there as we go into the course of the rest of the day out across much of the Mid-South area. Uh, U of M area, Betty Shearer, hope I'm saying that right. Welcome to the show. Batesville, Mississippi, Sunshine, Mike Goforth. Uh, thank you very much for that one. And for everybody else checking on through, Betty Lou Doyle Hicks. 
from Indi in Indiana, heading back to West Tennessee tomorrow. But we'll give you a forecast for what's happening here coming up in just a little bit. Corland, Mississippi, Shanice Terrence Griffin, welcome to the show. Thanks for joining us. And Jenny Mae Schneider, thanks for joining us from Walls, Mississippi for this morning. Not a lot going on. Again, decently quiet. Very dry. Storm Tracker 3S is not showing much of anything into and around the area. We're looking again for showers back to the north and west of us to be firing up as we go into around early tonight and tomorrow morning. But so far, south of I-44 and into around west Kentucky, southern Illinois, not that much to show. Matter of fact, nothing at all right now on Storm Tracker 3S, but we will be looking for more potential of that as we go into the course of the rest of the day. We'll continue to watch what's going on uh, into and around the area for right now. Again, chilly out there with temperatures going back into the lower to mid 40s. What you're looking at here on WeatherNet 3 is actually some of the warmest numbers that we have so far. It's going to be, again, a little bit better as we go throughout the rest of the morning as those winds pick up out of the south, and that'll help to bump the numbers up as we head into the course of the rest of the morning. But otherwise, not doing too bad out there. Definitely a jacket, if not a light coat, but at least you're not going to need the umbrella to do anything about the rain across much of the Mid-South. So definitely uh, some good news on that for right now. Uh, let's see, Patricia Diane Parker Roberts. Good morning from Memphis State. Kind of nippy outside right now. Not liking more rain this weekend. Yeah, that's not exactly a very popular forecast at this point. And Believe me, I don't like giving the forecast for that any more than you like hearing it, but there it is. Uh, sunny but cold in Fraser. Tammy Gibson, welcome to the show. And Wyatt, Mississippi. Don't think I've ever been there. Alice McGowie, welcome to the show. Let's run the numbers and show you what we've got going on into the rest of the day today. Scattered showers around the Tennessee-Kentucky state line as we go into around lunchtime today, those southerly winds continuing. If you're driving east or west across the area, it's a good possibility those winds are going to be pushing against your vehicle, so expect a little bit more of some chop going on out there if you're driving anywhere across the Mid-South. Now, through dismissal time for the kids later on this afternoon, does not look like we're going to be seeing too much of anything else in the way of major amounts of problems where it comes for travel delays, especially for the kids when it gets into around dismissal time. So that's good news. But anywhere up around northwest Tennessee, northeast Arkansas, and the Boot Hill, you'll be seeing the chances for rainfall first as we go into around, say, sunset, dinner time tonight, and also more clouds overspreading the area. Now, this should be very light rainfall. Later tonight, better chances of rain, possibly mixed with thunder. So as of right now, we could see, again, the potential for some areas getting some heavier rainfall tonight, late, and into very early on Saturday. Also, and unfortunately, if you have plans throughout the rest of the weekend, it's not going to be a complete and total washout, I don't think, but it is going to have, again, the potential for some area of, of rainfall through midnight tonight, overnight into very early daybreak tomorrow, and then the showers kind of coming and going across the Mid-South through the rest of the weekend. So we don't see a totally dry weekend. Hopefully, we don't see a total washout either. So again, that's definitely good news uh, to report at this point in time. We'll keep you updated on this. Again, you can get more information about our forecast here throughout the rest of the weekend. So definitely want to stay tuned for more information, and we'll keep you advised on that. What are we looking for when it comes to severe weather? Well, as of right now, nothing for today. As a matter of fact, this just denotes the possibility of a generic thunderstorm risk. This is not a marginal threat. That's not showing up at this time. But earlier this afternoon and then later tonight moving into our area we could see the potential of some stronger weather at least some thunderstorms anyway but right now it does not appear to be actually anything in the way of severe weather showing up so good news there Ernest Holton, hope I'm saying that right, East Memphis, 39 degrees and a sun cloud mixture. Thank you very much for that weather report, Mr. Holton. Betty Lou Doyle Hicks, you're welcome. Thanks for tuning in to the update. I do appreciate that. Now, tomorrow, Saturday, that's where we may see into around Coahoma, Quitman counties in Mississippi, and Phillips County in Arkansas, we may see a very brief brush of a marginal threat of severe weather. The main target zone for severe weather is going to be the Red River Valley, the Arklatex, down to the Florida Panhandle, just outside the News Channel 3 viewing area. But this is something we will be watching, and we'll have an update on this potential risk forecast throughout the day today. And, of course, tomorrow on Daybreak, you want to stay tuned for more on that. I'll have more details on that coming up on Daybreak. If this moves closer or farther away from us, we'll keep you updated on that. So definitely want to keep it tuned uh, for more information on that. Now, after Saturday into Sunday, 
threat goes well away from us. Florida, Georgia, southeastern extreme Alabama into maybe parts of the Carolinas. Some better possibilities of thunderstorms winding up there. So not really seeing, again, a lot of major activity going on when it comes to problems for severe weather. But once again, we'll monitor that, so keep it tuned for more. All right, into the weekend. Temperatures back in the mid-60s today. I still think there's going to be a chance of some light showers possible north of I-40 into this afternoon and into this evening. Now, into, that's not what I want to go backwards. Hang on a second. Okay, excuse me a second. Cranky computer. I do. Okay. Nothing, nothing unnerves me more than a cranky computer out there. Let's see if we can get this thing to work. Okay, behave, behave yourself, all right? Yes, I'm talking to inanimate objects. No, I haven't had enough coffee this morning. Now, into the rest, sorry about that. That happens in live TV. This is what we're seeing into tomorrow. Showers first, but then some thunderstorms possible into the rest of the day. And then on Sunday, we kind of reverse that trend. Some showers and thunderstorms possible by daybreak, and then just turning back to showers and then ending as we go out of the weekend. Yes, for those of you with outdoor plans, not looking all that good. So unfortunately, that's what we're winding up with for now. Hopefully, one of these weekends, we wind up with rain going into the weekend, nice weekend, and then rain going back to work or school on Monday. This is not going to be the case here. So again, better chances of showers and thunderstorms into the next couple of days. Gary Pilkington, welcome to the show. Sam Gillum, thank God no washout, and we still have some of the floodwaters from last time. That's true. And unfortunately, this right here is probably not going to help things too much. Likewise, what may be coming up next Saturday, more chances of showers and thunderstorms coming on through. And that could be a bit of a problem for the local rivers and streams. Now, so far, it looks like everything is starting to drop pretty well, but we could see more problems with flooding into the next couple of days. So if that happens, again, keep it tuned. We'll let you know a little bit more about what we're going to be seeing out there through the next few days. Through Monday and Wednesday, right in between the early part of the week, we may see some scattered light showers early Monday morning, but then drying out cooling down lower to mid 50s for highs 60s by the time we finish up the week nearly 70 by next saturday that's our next chance of thunderstorms and then lower 70s as we head into around uh, the sunday area again that's where we're watching again that possibility for more rainfall it's pretty decently a large chance for right now but it is about 10 days out so i would be taking this with a little bit of a grain of salt right now, and we will monitor that to see what goes on into the next few days out there. Tank Boy 925 thanks a lot for a great view of that rainbow from around uh, Midtown from earlier this last week, about midweek or so, with those showers and thunderstorms moving out of the picture. Some beautiful views there. James R. Gulledge from around Humboldt, Tennessee. A few signs of spring on a cold, late winter day and a nice sunset around the Humboldt, Tennessee area. So thank you, Mr. Gulledge, for that. And TN underscore WX, a nice view of sunset around Carroll County, Tennessee. Thank you very much uh, for sending that in. If you'd like to get your pictures on our webcast or on air when we feature them on Daybreak and our other newscasts, we'd love to show them, but if you don't send them, we can't show anything. So you kind of see the problem I'm working with here. So please send us your weather photography from around the Mid-South area. Aonic, no underscore necessary, WREG3 on Instagram. Aonic underscore WREG3 on Twitter, and of course, join me on my main Facebook page at Austin Onic WREG. You can check out my forecast through 10 a.m. with Bob and Josh on TalkBack Live. They'll be on until 10 o'clock on AM 730 Yahoo Sports Radio with our complete WREG weather experts forecast. If you can't pick them up on air, listen to them online at TalkBackLiveNetwork.org. And, of course, my forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on News Channel 3 on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. We'll have another check of your forecast, a quicker version coming up of weather overtime as we go into about 1030 this morning on my Facebook page, also on on Twitter and Periscope, and we'll take a look at whether where the troops are. If you have friends or loved ones serving in the United States military, please make certain to join me for a look at some of the locations around the planet where some of the United States military members are serving. It's our little way of trying to keep you in contact from the home front with other 
people that you may know in the military around the world. So stay tuned for that, and that'll be coming up at about 10.30 this morning. So more details on that at WRHE.com. That'll wrap it up for this edition. We've got another couple of updates coming up at 8.25 and 8.55. We'll be on with Live at 9, starting bright and early at 9 o'clock, and, of course, News Channel 3 at noon. So stay tuned for more on that, again, as we go throughout the rest of the day. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. Stay tuned for much more with News Channel 3 on air and online throughout the rest of Friday and right on into the rest of the weekend.